Hey guys, it's the Spear Keepers. Well, one of them. The other's on the way, but it, it's Emma here. We are heading over to Mohegan Sun today. I just made it to our hotel, but we are going to Warren Seekers of the Supernatural Paracon. I'm so excited. There's a ton of big names that are going to be there today, and I can't wait to see everyone. One of the main speakers this morning is Nick Roth which I'm super stoked um, to see him. For those of you who don't know, he is what, well, was one of the main investigators of Ghost Adventures. But yeah, they were a huge inspiration for me to start ghost hunting. And um, so he was, he was a childhood hero for me. So I'm really excited to see him today. We're trying to get their brain early because he's speaking this morning with his wife, Tessa, who's a psychic. I'm really, I can't wait to hear them speak. And then there's a couple of other great speakers today. We also have um, Arnie Johnson's going to be speaking later in the day, which for those of you don't, who don't know, he's from the, he um, was a part of the Devil May, infamous Devil Made Me Do a case here in Connecticut. I'm really excited to see him as well. And then there's going to be a lot of vendors. There's going to be like psychic readings being done. There's a lot of different jewelry that's going to be sold. We're also going to have some artifacts from the occult museum that are being brought to the event. So we'll be able to see some of those artifacts, including Annabelle which I'm really stoked about. And then the dinosaur toy Hello. Um, from The Devil Made Me Do a Case um, will also be here as well. Um, so yeah, we will see those two. And yeah, we'll go from there. And Siobhan's right here. Ah! Siobhan! Are you excited? Oh, yeah. What are you most excited about? Tell them. Ooh, Is this wanna, on your face? Huh? Is yeah, it, yeah. Okay. I want to see Arnie Johnson. I want to hear. Yeah, him. I was just talking about that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited to hear that. Yeah, um, and hopefully we get to talk to them. I hope that's yeah. a thing afterwards. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens, and yeah, I'll be seeing you guys there. Hey guys, so we're in this really long line going to see Nick Roth and Tessa. Hopefully, we'll get a seat. I, I think, think we should be fine. Hopefully we don't get cut off, but we're about to go see him. I haven't done anything this morning aside from wait for this, so I'm really stoked and hopefully I can get some footage while we're in there. I, I love this crowd already. It's awesome to see uh, new faces, cross paths with different people, you know, different backgrounds, perspectives on life. Um, I've been just literally filming 20 episodes for my new series, Death Walker, that's coming out in America, finally. So, Woo! Um, there's going to be 40 episodes. So I've already shot 40 episodes, some of the best evidence I've ever documented in my life. Uh, started with Ghost Ventures, Paranormal Lockdown, you probably saw a little bit of that. Uh, and then Tessa and I, we've been hitting the road in new haunted places. We got unique access to some of the most incredible locations I've honestly ever witnessed. And we're filming a new low light capability, so I know we're night vision. We're hey guys, we just got out of the Nick Roth lecture in, with Tessa. It was really incredible. We saw some clips um, from the Nick's new show, Death Walker, as well. So be sure to check it out. And it was exclusive content that's never been, never been released before. It was incredible. And then um, Tessa did some medium readings. <laughs> Um, with the audience. It was an amazing time. What do you think of Nick and Tessa's lecture? It was really emotional. Like, I know, I, I was... I was trying to, like, when the guy started crying, I I, I felt... And I, I started crying. Yeah. <laughs> um, so during her readings, I started getting emotional for the people, too. But there, was, were, there were a lot of yeah. really sad stories, but... Like, I can't have too many people crying. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was really cool. Maybe we'll end up at their table, or... I do, too. I kind of want a tarot reading. Let's get a tarot reading. But yeah, maybe later we'll end up going over to get photos, sign pictures. Oh, yeah. Then you'll be able to ask her oh, your question. I know. Siobhan I know. had a question for Tessa, but we didn't get a chance to talk. <laughs> no, I really want to know how she enhanced her psychic abilities. Yeah. I was going to be like for a friend. I'm like, no, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs>
So um, I just bought a REM pod and um, what they do is there's an antenna that goes on top. It's kind of broken down now so I can bring it home. But it's presences through temperature as well as like energy fields around the antenna on the REM pod and it will start going off if a spirit's interacting with it so you can ask questions and stuff and it will start and stop if there is a presence nearby so we're going to use this in future investigations it's um like a ouija board um ouija board ouija board oh my god pointer shape so it's pretty cool got a little antenna and a little pen special shout out to pen paramore ghost gear um and we will be using it in the future so check it out so where are we going now siobhan the occult museum. This is where we're going to be able to see Annabelle. I'm going to be recording. I'm so excited. Um, and then we're also going to see the dinosaur toy. And then we're also going to see a couple of other artifacts that we'll go over more once we get in there. But I'm super stoked. It's going to be great. which was used to curse a person, was crafted from a number of items including animal bones, feathers, and human tooth and used to curse someone. It worked like this, a photo on the back, the spell would be cast over the photo, which would then be sealed on an envelope and sent to the victim. The victim opened the envelope and looked at the photo, the curse was placed, the shadow doll would come to the victim in their dreams and stop their heart. Yeah, this is what the devil made me do, haunted object. Um, simple toy was assembled by David Glatzel, who was possessed as a young boy. Witnesses saw the toy moving across the home, where a voice was heard saying, you're all going to die. The demon then moved from Ar David to Arnie Johnson after the demon moved and uh, challenged the demon. Warrens believe that Arnie was under demonic possession when he stabbed and killed his landlord. The, fam the famous case was later made into the Uh, Annabelle's right there. I do want to see Annabelle, but I don't want to see the picture. Oh, I will. <laughs> I'll take that one for the team. I don't want it. She's so far away. I'm only 85 miles per hour. You know what happens if I crash? So far away we are. I haven't gotten my glasses updated. <laughs> the owner experienced more sinister and dangerous activity by the demon soon turned over to the Warrens for safekeeping and placed in the Warrens Museum. It's responsible for scratching one of its victims in several motor vehicle accidents including the death of a motorcycle and this haunted Annabelle. There. <laughs> I can protect myself so I'm not worried about anything at all. And the way to protect yourself, ladies and gentlemen, whenever you go into a haunted location, you feel threatened in any way, you should always envision yourself in a glowing white light around your body, really. That's, that's your aura of protection, because everyone here tonight is generating an aura. You know, God, every, everything that's alive today, including animals, pets, trees, that's alive, has an aura. So you all have auras all different from one another, just like a fingerprint. But the demonic, the devils, the things that try to attack Arnie, they look for a weak spot in your aura. And you wouldn't know if you have a weak spot, would you? I mean, you can't even see your aura. But you were born with a perfect aura, but through life, through things that happen, your aura degrades. Could be a lot of things that cause it, could be a mental illness, it could be heavy drug use, alcohol use, 
maybe distancing yourself from God and from praying. Vaughn and I have made it back to the room. We are exhausted. We spent the whole day out and about living our lives. Nick and Tessa Groff, which yeah, was great. One of my favorites. They were probably my favorites of the day. We wanted to go to their stand after their um, talk today. However, they said that um, they kind of cut their time short because when I went up to security to ask them why they were like stopping sign and stuff, they said that there were security issues. So they were having them leave early. They didn't know if they were going to come back or not, and they didn't come back. So um, that's unfortunate, but we still um, really enjoyed their lecture. They oh, yeah. did a really good job. Nice. And then we also saw um, Dan Rivera. Tony Spera and Arnie Johnson, which they did a, a really awesome Q&A. Mm -hmm. Arnie Johnson kind of explained, you know, what, what was going on, like, when he was possessed, and he ta um, gave us a lot of, like, really good insight into the case and, like, what was going on with him at the time. Tony was great, too. Um, they had, like, a lot of good insight and advice for ghost hunters and things like that, so... They also said that the, they have officially announced that The Conjuring 4 is in the works. What case they're doing for it, I'm not sure. As well as The Nun 2. Which is being filmed in France, he said, right? Yeah. I got my, my new REM pod that I'm going to be using in future investigations, so stay tuned for that. Nick's new show, I don't know when it comes out, but... It's free. It's free, which is key. He let us see the promo trailer for it, which was really cool. But yeah, his show comes out soon, so stay tuned. Yeah, we're just gonna chill now and probably watch TV and shower and do whatever, but but yeah, like, share, and subscribe. Share it or else. Annabelle will come after you. Don't touch all that. Yeah, we have some great content okay. coming up. Um, we did a go. We did some ghost hunting at the Hotel Utica. Maybe we'll do some like paranormal story times around Christmas or something. Yeah, we'll talk to you guys soon.